Um, PDFs have gotten more complicated over the years, and when they added the transparency effects uh, about four or five years ago that are available in, in PDFs, we see a lot of logos dropping out and missing artwork. Um, we have a way of fixing that here by rasterizing everything, but when you do that, that makes everything a little bit lower res than it should be, so we, we like to use the native PDFs when we can. One of, one of the ways that you can fix it in your InDesign software, InDesign and Illustrator, is to remove all the spot colors from your final submitted artwork. Unless you're, of course, using a PMS job. But if you aren't actually using PMS Inks, and we're going to print this in CMYK, I'm going to go to your swatch palette. Um, you can see on here, I've got three colors here. This little indicator right there, that circle, means that it's a spot color, not CMYK. So one of the things we do just as a, a good procedure or process when we're finishing a job is to go to select all unused colors, delete them. We don't need those in the swatch palette anymore. Then we can see what's left, and we can see what's left here is a, a Pantone uh, 200, 8403, and a blue that was just set up a spot. So double click on these, move them from spot to process. Spot to process. Spot to process. And what you've got there is, uh, you know, a finished piece. Now when you export your job and you uh, use your PDF setting, we're going to replace an old one right here. We are going to use our CC West PDF setting. You can see when we go into uh, the output tool here in the Ink Manager, we don't have any spot colors listed. That's what you want to see right there. That'll, that'll solve a lot of your transparency and missing logo problems. Hope that helps.